Hey everyone, welcome to Barnbridge Project Call 27. Um, exciting week for us here and we'll jump, we'll jump right in. Um, I'll kick things over to Bogdan on the dev side to give some updates there and then we'll shift back to the operations side. Bogdan. Hey guys, so no huge dev updates for, for this week other than uh, the layer two deployments. So we're expanding smart offer to hit uh, more layer twos. We have everything prepared for the Avalanche launch. Uh, we already teased this, so we're probably gonna have it uh, up right after this call. So by the time you get the recording, it should probably be around the same time that Avalanche uh, Smart Alpha goes up on Avalanche. Uh, same thing goes for um, BSC and Arbizum. I mean, I can tease this much that um, we plan to release on both of these, and it's probably gonna come uh, like one each week like uh, the way we did for, for Polygon. So Polygon, Avalanche this week, BSC or Arbitrum next week, and the, the other one the week after. It depends, it all depends on how fast the uh, uh, Gnosis Safe hits Arbitrum. Should be up there already, but it's not in the UI and uh, that's what we're waiting for. Uh, that's, uh, that's about it. Other than that, we're working on uh, the like the next product on the roadmap is we're gonna have more details on that soon. So nothing, nothing hitch, nothing else on end. Thanks, guys. Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Bogdan. Um, just to kick things off on the operations side, so you know, priority-wise, we're working closely with Bogdan and the and the dev team to support the layer two deployments from a marketing and partnership side of things. I'll let Max dive into that in a little more detail. Um, we also have another roadmap session tomorrow to lay out kind of what, what's next, um, both kind of core, core development and, and kind of looking at, you know, the next, the next six months or, or so. And then also, you know, associated with all this, there's ongoing BD discussions with a number of existing users, potential users, garnering feedback for Smart Alpha and passing that along to, to the dev team. So we're, we continue to refine that process. Um, Product feedback loop is, is pretty critical for, for us to be successful. So we'll keep refining that further. Um, with that, I'll pass it over to Max um, for a few additional updates. Thanks, Christian. Um, so we are in the process of deploying the uh, yield farming contracts for the ETH um, Smart Alpha balancer pool. Um, looking to also get the Bitcoin one up and running in, in the coming days as well. Uh, there's a bit of technical difficulties with, with that one. Um, but once both are live, you'll be able to earn uh, KPI option tokens uh, through uh, um, October 18th or, or so, or October 19th, sorry. Um, and I think the, the UMA team uh, did a nice little write-up on kind of what we're up to yesterday as well uh, that we shared on Twitter. Uh, so there's some additional content on that there. Uh, and I'll be drafting up a, a blog post to kind of walk through what's going on with that balancer pool on, on the back end, just so you know what, what you're depositing into um, as well. Um, so that's our kind of UMA partnership there. A um, little bit of an alpha leak. Uh, I've been working with the Olympus DAO uh, crew to kind of push forward a potential Olympus Pro um, kind of collaboration. Um, I'm expecting kind of communications on that to actually be put into our uh, DAO forum uh, because it is something we'd essentially have to allocate bond for, right? So it's, it's going to be a DAO about uh, but what we could do on that front is actually be the first project uh, to be using Olympus Pro, not only for its governance token, uh, but for uh, the actual derivative tokens, right? So you could imagine um, smart yield uh, junior bonds, for instance, that are, that are being sold for uh, discounted ohm, um, kind of akin to the discounted Pendle or discounted Alchemix uh, that's being sold at, at the moment through that. Um, and for those who aren't familiar, what Olympus Pro does is it essentially allows a DAO um, to accumulate uh, LP shares um, in exchange for a discounted governance token uh, sales. Um, it's proven effective for Olympus DAO itself. 
Um, and I think we're a relatively decentralized DAO at this point. So it'll be interesting to see um, the different puts and takes once that um, kind of proposals in the forum and eventually goes to Snapshot and the DAO. Um, so I think those are the two primary um, partnerships uh, being worked on at the moment, right? We're kind of looking into the best way uh, to think about secondary liquidity. So with um, the UMA process now, the Olympus Pro process then, right, I think those are some of the more um, kind of fr frontier, you know, liquidity mining um, concepts out there. Uh, so, you know, once we have kind of like more empirical information on that, um, I, I think we'll be able to standardize templates that actually, you know, go for months at a time that we can use across multiple smart alpha pools. Um, and kind of on that note, right, um, as, as we look to deploy multi-chain, um, it's, it's going to kind of come down to what else is on that chain, you know, that determines how we can think about, you know, incentivizing liquidity. So for instance, uh, Polygon, does have balancer, um, you know, balancers deployed there. So if the UMA KPI option works on mainnet, uh, we can kind of direct rewards to polygon balancer pools um, for smart alpha assets. Uh, conversely, balancer is not on Avalanche yet, but Sushi Trident uh, should be launching there uh, shortly. And they do uh, have multi-asset pools. So that could be an avenue uh, for, for testing out there. Um, so every chain is gonna be a little bit different, uh, but I think we're kind of you know, trying out what the best um, liquidity mining processes are here and we'll be able to kind of replicate it in one, to, to some extent or another um, across chain. And Christian, I think that's it from my end. Cool, I can I can go next. Um, so, hey everyone. Uh, we are still working through uh, some of the items that were mentioning mentioned during the past project calls. Uh, still working on the Smart Alpha Video Explainer. We've been having had some timing gaps uh, due to some schedule uh schedule vacations uh the, the people had that, that have been engaged in it but uh and we also went back and forth uh on some screens just trying to figure out the best way how to present um the information about the pools and about smart alpha but as we have gotten past a few epochs now uh we actually uh, figure it out, figure out a, a good representation of everything. And I'm actually excited with the uh, upcoming result. We got the voiceover recording uh, and we are also finalizing this, the, um, the animation side and the sound work. So I would uh, expect it uh, to be finally released um, pretty much soon. Another thing that I'd like to highlight is that this week we got featured in The Defiant um, with their video walkthrough of Smart Alpha, uh, as well as uh, in the Bankless newsletter uh, that touched on this more on the fixed yield with uh, Smart Yield product. And both were great content pieces and got a lot of traction, uh, which actually led to an increased interest in Barnbridge and for the past weeks we have seen like hundreds new followers have have been uh added on Twitter uh which actually let us reach 24 thousand followers yesterday so um that's another milestone uh reached uh so congrats uh on that everyone uh and we have also got a lot of new website visitors as well. So, um, and a lot of that traction is happening around Smart Alpha in particular right now. So uh, we have also been trying to uh, 
work with you all and with the community, just collecting the market feedback and also feature requests. We are keeping uh, with the repo where we uh, add um, stuff that we hear from, from people. So um, thank you all for your feedback and for your support. And looking forward to the Father Gross. That's uh, it on my side. Awesome, thanks guys. Um, Tyler, Troy, Malad, anything you guys wanna, wanna add in here at the end? Um, just that we're going through all of the roadmap stuff. Um, we've been working on it all for a while. And uh, I mean, I put that post out on Medium if everybody wants to go read like just the generalized thoughts, but we need to put like a hard spec in place. So we're having like internal calls tomorrow. Um, I would say hopefully by the next time that we have a project call like this that, um, yeah, some of that stuff will be fleshed out. Yep, nothing more. Really. I don't see any questions. Um, anything else, guys, to, to talk through? Um, for, for this session or? Mm, I think a lot of this is like dependent upon what happens with the roadmap discussions. Um, and we just don't want to like leak any alpha like on that stuff just because we get front ran on so much stuff when we start doing that too much. So I think it's worth that. Tyler, I saw you went off mute. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's not even in that case leaking alpha. I just um like the article that i put out was more like my opinions they're not i i think like as a group um once yeah once we all figure out what the best path forward is then we put that information out to the community like i mean we're not going to put like hard specs together if we do the smart leverage i don't think that that's going to be leaking alpha because i don't think anybody else is going to build lending into our products so like um, that it, it's, I, I think we just, it's more that I don't want to, like, we don't want to say that we're going to build something and then don't build it. Um, cause there's like details that affect like the efficacy of building something. So yeah, it's, it's probably 50% the leaking alpha and 50% just making sure that we have our ducks in a row before we, I mean, we completed the. I mean, for the most part, everything in the white paper has been completed. Um, there's things that we need to like work on with the existing products to uh, give them more like utility and like uptick in usage. And we've been listening to the community. We know where some of those gaps are. We've been working with like um, large like capital groups and hedge funds who have given us feedback. Um, so we're definitely listening uh, and basically because DMOB was so effective in shipping, I mean, most protocols would have launched one of the things that not like three things plus the DAO and the yield farming. So we've really just got to not only figure out what we should be building from here based on all the feedback, um, we need to figure out how technically feasible it is and then we also need to figure out like realistic timelines because we're almost I mean at this point we're not going to like write a new white paper um, but like where we go from here is important because we're definitely not going to like sit on our thumbs and um, take a victory lap like we there's there's more to build and the job's not done. Cool. All right. Well, more to come for sure. Um, I think, 
think that probably does it for for today, guys. We can probably cut a bit early and get back to it, unless there's no other pieces we want to add. That's all for me, guys. I'm good. I'm losing my voice. Yeah. I don't know why. Sorry to everyone. You're watching football again. That's why. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I'm not going to be as talkative on this call. But yeah, to end on a high note, this year was successful. It takes a lot of projects years to build things. It's it's going to take a while to find product market fit. Like what we're building, our primitives and traditional finance um, as DeFi continues to grow, which I think it will. We've been a little bit set back from a regulatory perspective and it's it scared some of the larger financial institutions. But I think I've said uh, in a lot of different places, like no technology has ever failed because it's too disruptive. So, um, I mean, we're gonna follow the rules that come out. Uh, and I think like over the course of time, uh, DeFi will continue to gain traction in the marketplace. And so kind of planning on where we go from here, it's all affected by these things. So uh, yeah, there, there's definitely, I don't know, I would say like a dip in maybe some of the flurry of activity around DeFi, that's not gonna slow us down because um, it's gonna eventually come back. And when it comes back, the things that we built at Barnbridge are gonna be here. And it, I mean, it continues to grow in the meantime. So we're gonna go after that. Everybody's quiet, we should just hop. Yep, all good. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks. Have everyone. a good one, everyone. Thank you. Talk thanks. soon. Bye. Bye.